Hello guys, welcome to Blender One on One. Till now, you have learned and used some of the basic tools present in the Blender. While doing so, you might have came across the word called modify. So there are actually 52 modifiers present in the Blender, and how it would be if you master all those modifiers. So today in this video, we are going to do the same. Sounds amazing, right? So my name is Karthik Acharya, community guide at Blender. Without wasting further, let's get started. Modifiers are mainly classified into four categories, namely modify, generate, deform, and physics. Generate and the deform modifiers are most widely used. So today in this video, we will learn all the generate modifiers. The first modifier in the list is array modifier. As the name indicates, that will array modifier will generate the object in the specified direction. So I select this cube and I will add an array modifier. Here you can see that the exact replica of the cube is produced. I can increase the distance in the x-axis or y-axis or in the z-axis. And if I change the count, here you can see the exact replica of that cube is produced over here. Uh, you can increase or decrease the number of count, uh, that means number of cubes that you want to generate, and you can change the distance as you wish. The second modifier in our list is bevel modifier. So what this bevel modifier will do is, you can see in the cube there is a sharp edges are present. So if you want to uh, make that sharp edges uh, smoother, uh, you can use the bevel modifier to smooth it. And the moment I apply the bevel modifier, here you can see the sharp edges uh, came smooth here. I can increase the amount of smoothness by changing the amount quantity here. And I can increase the segment to get uh, better results, as you can see here. Uh, moving to the next modifier in our list is the Boolean modifier. So what this Boolean modifier will do is it will uh, create a hole in your object. So to do that, uh, you need to have two separate objects. So let me import an another cube over here and I will grab that cube just above this. So uh, you need to select uh, uh, the object uh, where the hole is to be created. And uh, as a beginner, you need to know this um, and you need to create on the boolean modifier uh, when uh, you click that you, uh, here you can see three options are present so first one is intersect what this intersect will do is it will intersect at only at the corners and uh, second one is union it will um, parent these two i mean it will uh, join these two and create a single object and the third one is difference so uh, what difference will do is it will create a whole if i want to do I need to select this eyedropper tool and I need to select this cube and I need to apply it. Now uh, I select this uh, this cube and if I press delete over here, here you can see that uh, the hole is generated. Uh, by using this you can make go to the wall and all. So moving to the next modifier is build modifier. So what this build modifier will do is it will create an animation effect of building this cube. So uh, let me delete this default cube and let me import and monkey head over here. Here you can see the monkey head is imported. Now let me add the build modifier and let me show you what will happen. So the moment you add build modifier, your object will disappear. And here you can set the start point and the length of your timeline. That means you can see this here. So when you uh, press the space bar to play this, here you can see the monkey head is building. This is the cool animation effect you can use if you want to create, uh, if you want to make some uh, really interesting animation, you can use the build modifier. Moving on to the next modifier is decimate modifier. So when you are in a sculpting mode and you are um, creating some head or any other kind of structure, um, you might know that those structures are made up of uh, tiny polygons, squares, rectangles, etc. 
when you are doing in a, using a brush in the sculpting mode for the detailing purpose it will create a multiple number of polygons so while rendering that will create a problem to you uh, that that will slow down your pc uh, you'll get stuck them to overcome that problem you can use the uh, the decimate modifier so let me show that i will go to the sculpt mode and i will select the dantopo brush and uh, i will decrease the detail size and i'll make changes to this beautiful monkey's head okay now i will go to the edit mode here you can see more polygons are generated here while rendering this will create a problem to overcome that i will go to object mode select the decimate modifier and decrease the ratio to 0.1 and i will apply that so i will go uh, edit mode and here you can see with the same amount of detail i successfully reduce the polygons which will help me in the render time the next modifier is edge split modifier assume i want to move only this vertex of the cube uh, if i go to the edit mode and if i press the vertex selection and if i try to move entire cube will distort so if i only want to move this vertex i can uh, do that possible by adding the edge split modifier if i click that and if i apply that modifier i can easily change that part of the uh, that face or that vertex like this i can select this one and i can press if i press grab or g shortcut i can freely move this the next modifier is mask modifier if you apply the modifier uh, the your object uh, will be disappeared i know you can achieve the same thing by using this thing also but uh, one of the advantage of using this modifier is uh, you, if you uh, create a whole body along with the head if you want only to render uh, the head portion and uh, you can use this uh, modifier to achieve the next and one of the important modifier is the mirror modifier as the name indicates it will mirror out the object which you are doing to apply this uh, mirror modifier uh, first let me grab this cube over here and you need to click uh, control a and uh, click on the all transform so uh, sometimes uh, you will uh, you will design the object which is symmetric about x or uh, symmetric about any axis <coughs> at that time you will reduce your work uh, by do applying the mirror modifier first you need to select this cube go to modifier and click on the mirror modifier and here in the axis uh, option you can select the axis and here you will get Uh, exact same mirror image along with the same uh, distance from this axis the next modifier in our list is multi resolution modifier this is similar to subdivision surface modifier uh, with this you can increase the geometry when you are in a sculpt mode if you want to render a high quality object you can use this modifier first let me apply this modifier and if i go to slap mode and uh, with the dent with the dent top uh, brush if i try to make a uh, distortion to this thing and if I, as i zoom in the resolution of this uh, resolution of the object will increase this is one of the greatest modifier when you are doing in a slack mode moving to the next modifier is a remesh modifier for example if you have a sculpted mesh and uh, you need to remesh it you can use the remesh modifier let me illustrate with the example i go to sculpt mode and i will sculpt by using dent topo brush I will decrease the detail size, and I will randomly do some distortion to this 
object if i go back to the edit mode here you can see uh, the mesh is uh, not in a perfect manner so if i remesh it simply i can add a remesh option in the object mode and i need to apply this if you if i go to the edit mode again here you can see the smooth mesh is generated over here moving on to the next modifier screw modifier to explain that i will use a circle i will go to object mode and i will rotate this in x axis or 90 degree i will grab it little bit and now i will add a modifier screw modifier to this with the help of this you can generate a spring type of shape uh, like i will uh, increase the screw size and i will in add iteration to this so here you can see the spring is generated over here you can increase or decrease the iterations as you wish moving to the next modifier is skin modifier whenever i apply the skin modifier here you can see the skin of the cube is formed over here now i will go to the edit mode and i will select this and if i try to scale this the whole cube will scale uh, now if i want to decrease the thickness of uh, uh, this uh, cube uh, i can do that by going to the wireframe mode and clicking ctrl and a and i can decrease the uh, decrease the size of the cube without affecting the actual geometry yes. jumping on to the next modifier is a solidify modifier to illustrate that let me add a plane to this and I will scale it a little bit and I will grab it. So now I want to convert this plane into a cube. I can achieve that by adding a solidify modifier. I will select this and I will increase the thickness. As you can see, uh, the thickness of the plane is increased and it converted from plane to cube. With the help of this modifier, you can really do amazing works. Jumping on to the next modifier, a subdivision surface modifier. This is similar to the multi-resolution modifier which we have seen earlier. When I click on the subdivision surface modifier, it will make our object to look smoother. I can change that by increasing the level of this. Uh, uh, what this basically do is it will smooth your object uh, this will help you uh, while uh, modeling the mouse also you can see the subdivision surface modifier is used the next modifier in our list is triangulate modifier this is the coolest modifier among all the modifiers if you want to take the 3d print of your object uh, the triangular geometry is best suited for this uh, if i go to the edit mode here you can see the geometry that is a square geometry if i want to convert into triangle for my 3d printing i can add the triangulate geometry to this and uh, here i will apply the modifier if i go to the edit mode i can see all the square faces converted to the triangular geometry this will help me to 3d print the object the next modifier in our list is weld modifier so as the name indicates the welding means merging the two cubes uh, if i duplicate this um, cube present here by pressing shift d and if i add here uh, here you can see the 16 vertices are present instead of eight vertices so now i want to merge this how i can make that well that's simple i can uh, go to the modifier and uh, if i add a weld modifier all those 16 vertices is converted into eight vertices and uh, that will become a one group the next and the last modifier in the generate modifier is a wireframe modifier this is pretty much similar to skin modifier 
but uh, the handling is very much easier when compared to skin modifier if i select this cube and add the wireframe modifier it will convert uh, my cube into a wireframe mesh uh, if i increase the thickness that will become more thicker so this modifier helps you uh, when you are making some architectural model imagine if you want to make uh, some hollow or some uh, uh, room kind of structure you can use this modifier to easily achieve this yes fine this is all about the generate modifier in these many modifier you are mainly using the array modifier bevel and um, solidify and the sub division surface modifier commonly thanks for watching